Hi friends, so today's question is why template functions only define inside header files? So we'll look at the answer now. This is a little bit of code snippet. This is your header file. This is what we want to achieve. Like this, this is what traditionally we, we want to do because if suppose it is not template thing, then uh, you'll be writing your uh, declaration in H file and uh, you'll be writing those definition into this CPV file. But if it is template, you cannot do this. What I have written here because, uh, yeah, that reason we'll see in a moment. Okay. So this is our application. This is our main function. We want to declare a foo. I mean, we want to initiate instantiate this foo with integer. So this uh, t will be replaced with this integer and all these t's will get replaced with this integer. Okay. That's how this template work. Okay. But this, if you will compile this code, it won't work because you have taken this foo.h here. So this file will come here. And when you will try to instantiate this foo with integer, what compiler will do, compiler will try to uh, place this integer at place of this t, but I mean at this t, but uh, when the compiler will go and search for the function actual definition of this get value and get sorry get value and set value function a compiler is not going to get that okay that's the reason we write uh, these functions inside this header file if you would have noticed you are doing this only all the time so i'll answer you why we do that okay so this is the exact code what i showed you in that ppt and uh, this is f this is the header file this is cpp file and this is our application where we will be using that okay so as you can see we have included only foo.h okay what we generally do we don't include .cpp otherwise the problem will get solved but we don't want to do that because uh, it will create so much problem like uh, you have multiple definition if this header file is included so many places okay so that problem comes that's why we include only header files okay so now I'll compile this code and we'll see it won't work. So yeah, as you can see, it is telling that undefined reference to set value. If suppose you would have written this two things here inside this, then it, it, it should have work. Okay, we'll see that. See, it got compiled. And if you want to run, you can just simply run that. Okay, the answer is five because we are setting the five in our application. Okay, so, and but the question is, we don't want to do that. Let's say how to keep this separate as we do traditionally without template. There are a few ways to do that. One is after doing this, you, you define all these functions in separate CPP file and you just include that cpp file here it's the same thing okay you just include that and we'll start working so we'll see that we'll just compile that code here see it's again working and it is giving you the same answer but if you would have not written this here let's see what it will do it will tell you the same error okay so this is one solution if you want to separate out your definition from that h file header files you can do this solution okay instead of writing that here you are including that okay so uh, this is one way and the other way is wherever your template cpp file is there i mean these definitions are there you instantiate the type what you are looking for in the future like here i am looking for integer okay so i will explicitly instantiate that so that compiler will generate that those functions okay so we'll see how to do that template class and then foo and what we want integer okay so we have instantiated it we could have instantiated float also let's say you would instantiate it for float as well okay so it will i think you all know what 
this instantiation means compiler will not do anything it will just replace this t with this integer okay so it's like that so we'll see that how it will work so we'll compile this time with app and our that this foo also okay as you can see it is compiled and if you want to run this we can simply just run that okay so we have inst explicitly instantiated this okay saying that I, I would be using integer and the float okay there are some benefits and drawbacks but but uh, I'm not going to cover all those things okay so this is the second way to deal this deal with this problem okay so that's it if you want to separate out your implementation part from the header file you can just simply either use the first way which is doing this one you will just simply include the cpp file here or the second way is you will just instantiate in the cpp file itself and it will start working okay let's say if you have not instantiated it some of you might have doubt this doubt let's say you didn't instantiate it and you want to compile like this it will show you the same error guys so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye